Hey friends, Graham here from therecordingrevolution.com and today I'm going to do a little mic shootout and show you a simple technique you can use to get better vocal recordings in your home studio. So in the last couple of videos, I've been walking you through my personal EP project, sort of showing you what I do in my home studio as an artist as well, and giving you a little behind the curtain on how I like to approach music making and record making. So we looked at drums, we looked at guitar tones. Today I want to talk about vocals. And one mistake I used to make when I would record vocals for myself or for clients was this. I would grab one microphone, my best microphone, slap it in front of my face or the client's face and assume that was the best microphone. I went with it, rolled with it. That was the sound. We could EQ it later. And in the end, it's worked fine. But over the years, I realized that, oh, not every voice sounds great on every microphone. No matter how good the microphone is, no matter how much success I've had with that microphone in the past, it's important and I would say critical to match the right mic with the right voice. So let me talk to two types of people in this video. One, if you're a singer songwriter doing your own stuff, recording your own vocals, then you only have to make this decision once. You only have to do this strategy or this shootout once because your goal is to find the microphone that sounds great on your voice 99% of the time, on 99% of your songs. If you're working with other artists, then you'll want to have this idea in the back pocket of yours every time you bring in a new client to match up the microphone. And it's really simple. What I'm going to do today is sing some of the vocals on my song, the song I've been building in front of you, using four different microphones. We're going to do a shootout, not to see what is the best microphone, period, but what is the best microphone for my voice, which is all that matters if I'm the one singing. So the mics I'll be using today range from $100 on up to $700. Our first mic is going to be the Behringer B1. It's a large diaphragm condenser microphone. You can get this for $99 US, and it even comes with a pad, a high pass filter, and a case. Can't beat this deal. This was my very first microphone purchase when I was maybe high school going into college. And I have kept this in my mic locker for over 15 years because it's awesome and it's a hundred bucks. This will be our first weapon of choice, sort of like a baseline, what you can get for a hundred dollar microphone. Very typical home studio microphone. Next, I'm going to be singing through a Rode NT1A. This is another large diaphragm condenser. This is about twice as much as the Behringer. This costs a little over $200 US, brand new. Um, there's a couple versions of this. The NT1 is back, it's black face, but I have three of these. They're kind of like a go-to mic for me as well. No high pass filter, no pad, uh, no heavy duty case. It kind of is what it is. Interesting. We'll see if this sounds better on my voice than the Behringer. At the top of the range, I'm going to be using a Neumann TLM 102. Okay. This is probably the newest mic in my locker. Picked it up. Probably one of the most affordable, if not the most affordable Neumann microphones. It's only $700 US, which is cheap for Neumann standards. Very, very approachable for the home studio if you want a Neumann, but definitely way above the typical home studio budget of the one to $400 range. So we're going to go a little bit more with the TLM 102. This is the black version and uh, see what this sounds like. Again, no bells and whistles on this one polar pattern. It is what it is. Another large diaphragm condenser. We'll see what this one sounds like. It costs seven times as much as the Behringer B1. And last but not least, classic Shure SM57 because you don't want to always assume that a condenser microphone is the best choice for vocals. Depending on your voice and the style of music, a good old fashioned dynamic could be a great choice, has been for many, many big singers over the years. And the SM57 is just one of those ridiculously great sounding mics, surprisingly, a lot of times. I use this usually for snare drum and my guitar amps when I'm recording a real amp for a client. Uh, but I've used this on vocals before and acoustic guitar, believe it or not. So we're going to do this as a comparison to all three of the condensers. Again, brand new, $99, but guys, you can find these used on eBay for a lot cheaper. So classic mic, can't break it. We'll see what this sounds like on my voice. Now, what I'm going to do is sing through a little bit of my song on all four mics. You can take a listen to what it sounds like. 
and then we'll open up the tracks in Pro Tools and be able to A, B back and forth and hear them in comparison a little faster and compare one to the other. And we'll see which mic sounds best on my voice for this song. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. You can be recognized wherever you go. Screaming your name Over and over You can have everything If you just let go We can take it from here now I've been paid up I've put in my time My mind's made up I'm gonna take what is mine I want no more fools Telling me what to do Tell me, where do I sign? Tell me, where do I sign? Tell me, where do I sign? Yeah. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show You can be recognized wherever you go People screaming your name Everything if you just let go We can take it from there now I've been paid up I've put in my time My mind's made up I'm gonna take what is mine I want no more fools Telling me what to do Please, sir, tell me Where do I sign? And tell me where do I sign? You can conquer the world, you can put on a show You can be recognized wherever you go People screaming your name over and over You can have everything if you just let go I've been paid up, I put in my time My mind's made up, gonna take what is mine I want no more fools telling me what to do Please, sir, tell me, where do I sign? Tell me, where do I sign? Tell me, where do I sign? the world you can put on a show you can be recognized wherever you go people screaming your name over and over you can have everything if you just let go we can take it from here now i've been paid up i put in my time my mind's made up, gonna take what is mine I want no more fools telling me what to do Please, sir, tell me, where do I sign? And tell me, where do I sign? Tell me, where do I sign? Here are the four tracks I just recorded. Top one here is the Behringer. Right below that is the road, right below that is the Neumann, and right below that is the Shure SM57. And uh, what I want to do is I've got them on solo um, XOR mode, so we can flip between them very quickly, and you can just hear one at a time, so you can quickly get the differences, and it's going to be, I think, very noticeable for you if you missed it on the first time. Um, but we'll listen back and forth. And then we'll listen back and forth to which one sounds better in the mix. And so just a little heads up, if you're watching this, I would flip it over to full HD if you can uh, to get the best audio quality to hear the differences. And probably on headphones or uh, studio monitors might not feel much of a difference if this is just on your phone or 
even the earbuds. So let's start with the Behringer. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. You can be recognized wherever you go. The road? You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. You can be recognized wherever you go. Okay. The Neumann? You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. You can be recognized wherever you go. Interesting. And the shore. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. You can be recognized wherever you go. Okay. So I think I hear very drastic differences. Let's flip back and forth quickly with them. Starting with the Behringer, I'm going to go down. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. Believe it or not, they seem to go in order of brightest to kind of darkest. This B1 is definitely the brightest and the crispiest of the four. Followed closely by the Rode. The Rode is definitely a bright mic. It seems to be a little smoother on my voice than the Behringer. Whereas the Neumann, once you hear that, it sounds real cloudy. Like it just sounds like soupy, which can be very nice, right? If you have just that real smooth sounding mic matched to maybe a bright voice. Um, and then the, the Shure is, is about as dark as the Neumann, just a little less full. Um, let's jump over to where it gets a little higher. People scream in your name over and over. The road. People scream in your name over and over. Neumann. People scream in your name over and over. Interesting. Sure. People scream in your name over and over. Very interesting. Let's get to chorus. I've been paid up. I've put in my time. My mind's made up. I'm going to take what is mine. Road. I've been paid up. I've put in my time. My mind's made up. I'm going to take what is mine. Neumann. I've been paid up. I've put in my time. My mind's made up. Going to take what is mine. And the shore. I've been paid up. I've put in my time. My mind's made up. Gonna take what is mine. Back to the Behringer. I've been paid up. I've put in my time. So when you get from the darker mics back up to the Behringer, the Behringer sounds a lot more forward, a lot more bright. And that's because it has a big bump. I mean, if you look at the EQ curve in the, the docks that come with it, it, like a lot of microphones, have a nice big little boost up in, I don't know, it might be 5K, 6K, 8K, maybe higher to give you that nice present sounding vocal. Um, so it almost sounds EQ'd already, which can be very, very helpful. Uh, it actually seems to sound good so far. But what I'm going to do is play these in context with uh, the mix, because right now, I don't know where you're at. If I'm listening to these in solo, my, my ear wants to like maybe the road because it's bright but not as bright as the b1 but then i really like the b1 the behringer on my voice i like the sort of the air it gives i like the neumann better in the chorus than i did in the verse like i like it here i want no more fools telling me what to do please sir tell me where do i sign tell me where do i sign i like it there better and here you can conquer the world you can put on a show there's something in the low mids that just doesn't sound so great on my voice there 
but it, it, it handles the louder stuff a little bit better. Uh, you know, and, and the sure actually comes together pretty nicely. I want no more fools telling me what to do. Please, sir, tell me where do I sign? And tell me where do I sign? It sounds real clear. I mean, here it is, the Shore versus the Neumann. I want no more fools telling me what to do. Please, sir, tell me where do I sign? And tell me where do I sign? Right? It hangs, but it, it's different. The Shore has a little bit more forward sound than the, the Neumann. It's not quite as full-bodied as the Neumann. It's definitely chopping off something, uh, but it cuts through. So let's, I'm curious to see what these sound like in the mix. So let's go back to the verse and let's unmute the band and see what sounds good in the mix. Here is the Behringer. I turned each one up by the same amount to kind of be a little louder over the band. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. Recognize wherever you go. Road. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. You can be recognized wherever you go. Norman. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. You can be recognized wherever you go. And the shore. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show You can be recognized wherever you go People screaming your name Over and over You can have everything if you just let go People screaming your name have everything if you just let go People screaming your name Over and over You can have everything if you just let go We can take it from you now So that's interesting as I'm cutting across the different mics Again, the Behringer cuts through the most uh, At times I like it, at times a little too much the road again sounded good here, I think. People screaming your name versus the Neumann. People screaming your name. Like the Norman makes me want to brighten it up a little bit, and then it might sound real balanced. And versus the Shore. People screaming your name. That sounds a little more lo-fi there, but let's get to the chorus again. I've been paid up. Let's start with the shore. I've been paid up. I put in my time. My mind's made up. Gonna take what is mine. I want no more fools telling me what to do. Please, sir, tell me where do I sign? And tell me where do I sign? Tell me where do I sign? Yeah, let's just do this loop right here. We'll wrap it up. Where do I sign? Tell me where do I sign? Tell me where do I sign? Yeah. Where do I sign? And tell me where do I sign? Tell me where do I sign? Where do I sign? Tell me where do I sign? Tell me where do I sign? Where do I sign? And tell me where do I sign? Tell me where do I sign? Very interesting. You know, here's the, the truth. From my perspective, I could work with any one of these. If I were to choose the B1, I would know that it might get a little too harsh, a little too bright on certain words on my voice, and I might smooth it out maybe some saturation on the vocal, maybe a little EQ notch, and it might not need really anything else. It might sit in the mix nicely. It really does cut through, especially when I'm singing lower here. It really seems to cut through nice. You can conquer the world, you can put on a show. Nice breathiness. If I were to choose the road, that seems to hang well most of the time, 
some syllables and some vowels have a little of a honkiness in it. There's something about it that I don't really love on certain parts of the vocal. So I might scoop something out and that might clean up nicely. I could work with the Neumann. I think it brings a lot of richness and character in the low mid that sometimes sounds nice on the vocal, but sometimes makes my vocal sound cloudy. And so I would need to scoop out anything that's a little too much down there. And it definitely, in my mind, would need to be brightened up in the mix. And then the sure really shines, I think, when I'm singing louder versus when I'm singing quieter, which leads me to believe that if this were more of a loud, shouty rock song the whole time, I could go with the sure, make it work. If it's just sort of like the verses are nice and, and legato and low down there and mellow, I, I don't know, it doesn't sound as full as it could be as, or as full as some of the other mics, nor as bright. So it kind of misses out on the, the fullness and the brightness. But in the chorus, it seems to cut through nicely. It just goes to show that every mic brings something to the table uh, and every mic offers something for every voice and every song. It's just a matter of matching what sounds best to you. So my friend, let me ask you as we wrap up this video, which of these four mics do you think sounds better on my voice in this song? Leave me a comment below the video. Let me know which mic you actually thought sounded a be like a better match for my voice and let me know. I might even consider that for the final vocals on the record, but I'm curious to see what your opinions are. Was it the B1 from Behringer? Very bright. Was it the Rode, which is kind of bright, but not too bright? Was it the Neumann, which is nice and rich at the bottom end, but not really as bright at the top end? Or was it the Shore that had its own sort of mid rangey cutting through persona? Leave me that comment below this video. I'm very curious to see what you think about this. Uh, and also, my encouragement to you is, as you get into the studio, I want you to take whatever mics you have and try them out. If you only have one mic, then that's all you have, my friend, and that is okay. Use it and use it well. But as you add a second mic to your mic locker, take a moment to test which one sounds best in your voice or which one sounds best on your client's voice. Match it up, test it out, and then you'll know what is the better mic for you. Not what is the best mic or whatever gear slut says is the best mic. What is the better mic for you? That's it for today, my friends. Subscribe to the videos if you like them, if they're helpful to you. As always, join the mailing list. It's easy, free, and you get bonus training and material and stuff sent directly to your inbox, stuff that I don't post anywhere else. Have a great week. Make some great music. I'll see you on the next video.